Hello there. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to play Texas Hold'em by Beyonce on the ukulele. I got asked to play this recently by someone in the comments, and so I'm putting up this video in hopes that it will help them. Uh, so here's a little taste of what you can expect to hear. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching again. I appreciate it. Uh, now this song is in the key of D major uh, I've been through it a couple of times in the uh, I did a full breakdown uh, with the guitar So there's a little a couple of differences there because there's a few riffs and whatnot that don't translate to a ukulele uh, So I'm just going to do a pretty bare bones stripped back approach to this so I hope that it helps uh, if you have more questions Leave a comment, let me know down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Now, the key thing here is getting the intro correct. So, normally you'd play a D on a uh, ukulele, where you've got three fingers in a row, leaving the high string open. Uh, but in order to play this riff that opens the Texas Hold'em song, uh, we're going to do a little bit differently. So we're going to bar across the 2nd fret and then with the pinky we're playing on the 5th fret there. So that's sort of like a, a stretched out version of D major if you will. Um, so and then we're going to play a rhythm. Um, now it's quite quick generally this song. So we're going to do a Technically, that's a D major to a D6. So D, D6, D, D6. And that's the intro there. So through the verses, you've got that riff. Uh, and it's basically a 12 bar blues, as I said in the other video. Uh, so we're going from you know a D to a G, back to a G, D, A, G, D. So, um, here's a little bit of what that would sound like when you put it all together. basically the intro and the verse one chords there. Uh, now, when it comes to the pre-chorus, yeah, we're gonna go from a B minor to a D to a G, and then goes back to the D across four bars. So to do that, uh, we've got a B minor here. So we're barring across the second fret, third finger on the fourth fret on the lowest string here. And then we're going back to the D, G, and back to the D for two bars. So it sounds like this, two, three, four. basically into that uh, next, um, the chorus there, which are the chords uh, we did just before, like the, like the verse, it's much the same sort of thing. Uh, now, in terms of time, I'm just gonna go right to the end of the song here. Uh, and it's got a, a section, again, in the breakdown I did on this video, uh, on this song, sorry, it's got a really interesting uh, chord progression in that end of the song because it's doing a couple of things at the same time. You've got one guitar playing, uh, I think it's to a, a G to a D, and then you've got the other guitar on the other side playing like an E minor to a B minor. So it's you get a bit of both. It's interesting when you hear them all together mixed up. It's, uh, yeah, it's fun. Go listen. Uh, but this one, basically, uh, we're going to be alternating between a B minor, which is the chord we mentioned earlier, bar across the second, third finger on the fourth fret on the low string, 
And then we're gonna keep that shape and add the pinky and the second finger. So the pinky goes on the fourth fret on the next string, which is the C. And then we're adding the second finger in there. So we're alternating between the two, so, which sounds a bit like this. So I hope that was helpful. Um, again, it's a pretty cool song, so get out your ukulele, have a go, uh, and I will uh, yeah, answer any questions that you have. But in the meantime, if you're into learning songs on guitar, uh, or if you have any requests for songs, uh, you can look up here for songs I've done previously. Let me know in the comments if there's songs that you wanna hear. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps me a lot with the channel to know what you want and what you wanna hear next. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.